you need students that can embrace complexity. And so get that knowledge, but realize how that knowledge fits in the current environment and knowing that that current environment is complex and that you're confident, you're comfortable, and you're ready to tackle it. So my name is J.D. Clark and I'm the Executive Director of Master's Programs at the Ivy Business School at the University of Western Ontario in London, Ontario, Canada. So I will share something. I've been in higher education for years and I think what I love about this job is you're in the dream business and you're making it come true. You know, part of taking an MBA is this leap of faith that people have. We're here dealing with candidates they, with a big trust me on it, right? You're, you're gonna have a great experience, but this is gonna be incredibly impactful in your career. You know, what excites me is the great people you meet, the fact that they come in, they have a great experience, and that you are impacting, you know, them for life. What I love about Ivy is the culture. We live in a small city. Uh, you know, it's a university city, so the university has a big impact of it. But there's a community culture about Ivy. People are just there to support each other and to pay it forward. And we have incredibly strong alumni. It's unbelievable, like any time you call an alumni or even a faculty member, whoever within the community and ask them for help, you, you know, they are there to help and to support you. So I think being involved in that community is really exciting. And I also think the practicality of the way that we teach. It's this whole element that, you know, it's not just about taking the theory and being able to memorize, it's that whole thing about applying it. So our classroom environment is based on a discussion-based environment using the case study methodology approach. So it's really about you know, taking the learnings and the concepts and putting you in an environment where you have to be a decision maker every day you walk into class about a real business issue and a real business problem. So you're not only just getting the knowledge aspect of things, you're walking out getting the experience as well. So in the program, you're going to do close to 350 cases, you know, across various industries. And you're making 350 senior decisions, impact decisions that are on an actual organization. How programs need to adapt is they need to make sure that students are taking that knowledge, that they're becoming, you know, much more strategic in their thinking. And again, you know, not just being model takers, you know, learning a model and then just trying to fit it in a certain situation, is becoming model makers. The best analogy I use is I have a neighbor who's a pilot. And you know, when they are training, you can do a very easy thing in a pilot. You can get, you know, the manuals and, and know how to fly, but you don't know those intricacies and those different things until you sit in a flight simulator. And what we do is we put people in a corporate flight simulator as they're going through our program. You know, they're, they're applying their learning in our program, not when they first get out in that first job. So they make their mistakes and they make a lot of learning in that, you know, time that they're in our program. And you come out being confident decision makers. And that's what makes leaders great, are the leaders that not only have good judgment, they have good wisdom, and they're very, very strong decision makers. A theme that I think applicants make a mistake is they give you the answers and the information they think you're looking for rather than being authentic. When they get to an interview stage, just as if you're going for an interview for a job, if it's not an authentic story, the minute that you're asked follow-up questions or you're asked to describe it more or how you felt, you know, if that's not an authentic thing that you experienced, it starts to collapse around you. So what you want to do is you want to be, you know, authentic. You want to make sure that what you're sharing is something that matters to you and what matters most to you. And then the second one I will talk about is, you know, just as people, like, as they're looking at business schools, you know, what, what people have to do is going into this MBA is really think about what matters most to them. You know, what matters most to them out of a program, what matters most to them career-wise, and, and, you know, frame your decision making and frame your interactions around the school by looking at, you know, what matters most to you. When we talk to candidates about thinking about doing an MBA program, what we talk about is you need to think about what you do at work. So that's like your job description. But take it one step further and talk about what impact you've had in your workplace. And also think about, you know, those accomplishments that you're most excited about. So what we're doing is looking for individuals that are passionate passionate about what they've done, passionate about the successes they've had, 
and really focusing on, you know, what's been their impact to date and, and what are those accomplishments they're the most proud of. Admit me. Never apply alone. <laughs>